Hey guys, today I'm showing you how to make coffee and walnut profiteroles and let me tell you, these are absolutely delicious. I love making profiteroles because they look so pretty and so impressive when really they're not that hard to make at all. So I'm going to start by showing you how to make the shoe pastry. So I have a pan and to that I'm going to add in some water and some milk. Next, I'm adding in one of the new Flora spreads. This is the walnut one. It's gonna give the profiteroles a really lovely flavor. So I pop that into the pan. I find that these are really good to use in recipes, but they're just as great to enjoy on a slice of bread. So two more ingredients, salt and sugar. Pop those in the pan as well. You wanna let that melt together over low, medium heat. While I wait for that to melt, I'm going to sift my flour onto a piece of greasy food paper that I folded in half because as soon as that starts to boil, I need to get my flour in there. So sift over the flour. Once you've got the flour in, take it off the heat and give it a good mix around. It'll start coming together to form a ball. That's when you know it's right. Keep mixing, you should get something that looks a bit like this, a lovely shiny mixture. Pop that back on the heat for about a minute or two to dry it out. That can now go into a separate bowl. You want to let it cool for about 10 minutes before you beat in the eggs. I like to beat my eggs in one at a time, that way I know they get well incorporated. So crack the first one in and beat that in. I used to do it with a wooden spoon and then I realized why am I not using an electric beater? It's so much quicker and easier. So beat that in. Look at that. Once it's well mixed, it turns it into a lovely, smooth, shiny mixture. That can now go into a piping bag and you want to fit that with a round nozzle. Twist it off and pipe it onto a baking tray lined with some baking paper. Just looking for small mounds here. Now don't put them too close together because they will puff up in the oven. If you have any peaks on top, just tap those down with a damp finger. And now before they can go in the oven, I like to give them a brush with some egg wash to give them a nice color. While my profiteroles are in the oven, I like to get going with my filling. Now this is a lovely creamy coffee filling. It's absolutely delicious. It's kind of like a tiramisu profiterole. It's amazing. So in a bowl, I've got some mascarpone cheese and to that I'm going to beat in some double cream and some caster sugar. Time to add in the coffee. Now I'm using espresso. If you don't have an espresso machine, you can just use instant coffee. I'm gonna add about two tablespoons. That is perfect for me, but if you like less coffee, you can add in less coffee. Once that's all mixed in, pop it into a piping bag so it's ready to pipe into the cool profiteroles. My profiteroles are out of the oven. Now you need to work quite quickly. You want to poke holes into the bottom and that's to let steam out, otherwise it'll stay really soggy inside. Now be careful because they are hot, so you might want to use a tea towel. This is the hole we use to pipe the filling. To really finish off my profiteroles, I'm going to make a chocolate sauce. So in a pan, I have some chopped up chocolate and I'm going to add in some double cream and a little more of the espresso. 
Now all you want to do is let that heat up gently and stir it until it all melts. Once that is lovely and glossy and smooth, you can pour that over your profiteroles. Top them with some crushed walnuts and then you are done. So don't forget, if you want to check out the awesome flora spreads, I'll leave a link in the description box below. So that is how you make my coffee and walnut profiteroles. Easy.